All right, guys, it's almost time. We got Marley here. Come here, girl. Oh, perfect. One minute. All right, let's get comfortable. Marley, you comfortable? Okay. What do you think? You're gonna be a little bit more energetic today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, guys, we got one more minute. Never mind. It's noon. Hello everyone on Instagram Live and welcome to another episode of Marley's Corner. I'm David Gimmis, founder and CEO here at Paw.com and of course this is my trusty confidant, my sidekick and our chief product tester Marley hanging out in her favorite part of our office, Marley's Corner, talking everything dogs, cats, pets, Paw.com and everything else in between. We have a, an amazing guest today. She's a friend, uh, she's a pet lover, and um, a reality star on Bravo's hit show, Below Deck. So we're gonna get her on uh, just in a minute. Today we're doing something very special that we haven't done before. Uh, we're giving away a $250 gift card. So please drop a, a, a like, a comment, and ask a question uh, in the comments below. So let's get uh, bugs here. Okay. There she is. Hello. <laughs> hey, Dave. How, hey, Molly. Hello. How are you, bugs? I'm so good, thanks. How are you guys? <laughs> good, good. Sorry about that. We uh, we had some technical difficulties. You know, that's part of the job with going live. You never know what's going to happen, right? For sure, and everyone is like writing on there that I'm fashionably late. I'm like, I'm over here. <laughs> I mean, you know what? That wouldn't be the worst thing. Marley was desperately waiting to see to see <laughs> you here, and she's all excited. So, um, first of all, bugs, I, I just want to say thank you. We know how busy you are with with the show and and your career and everything you're doing professionally. So, we really appreciate you taking some time to come chat with us. Oh, it's so, it's so awesome, like, being here, and thank you so much for asking me on, because this is a really exciting thing for me to do. Awesome. So, um, for all those watching, um, I was just, maybe you can just let everybody you know who you are, where you're from, what you do. Right. Okay. So, I'm Bugs Drake. I'm from South Africa. Um, I actually work on yachts. Uh, some people might know me from Below Deck, the, um, the hit series. Um, which I've just done the recent uh, season of in the Mediterranean. But yeah, I, pr I pretty much work on both. I'm currently in Florida and going back to the Bahamas next week to carry on chartering. And yeah, I love dogs. It's like the biggest thing I miss while working on a boat. So um, I'm lucky that I know you guys and know Marley and get to enjoy her when I see you. Yeah, because... Um... You and Marley are pretty close. You even get you even babysit for her sometimes, right? <laughs> love Marley and I love babysitting for her. We uh, back at the house we 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 call we call bugs anti bugs when Marley <laughs> gets, to, gets to see her. So she she's a big fan. Um, but you have a dog back home, right? Back back home in South Africa. I do. I've actually got two Ridgebacks. Um, they are literally my life. They're like my siblings, but I just love them like they were my own children because I obviously don't have children. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm so close with them both. Uh, two beautiful Ridgebacks, Rhodesian Ridgebacks. And yeah, they're just so gorgeous. I miss them so much when I'm not home. Yeah, it must be hard to be away from them for an extended period of time because um, <laughs> of your career, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, and speaking of your career, so as you mentioned, and as I'm sure many people watching live know, you are a chief stew, you work the interior on super mega yachts all around the world, you get to travel to all these amazing places and, and hang out with cool people, and we wanted to know, we were discussing internally in our office, I'm sure some of these people must bring their, their dogs on board, is that, is that a thing that, that happens? It's completely a thing. I mean, it's the life of the rich and famous. You know, if like they have a dog and they want to bring the dog on the boat, um, a lot of the times they're actually able to. It completely depends. Um, I've worked for um, people who own a dog, like who've owned a dog, um, a German Shepherd. So 
we always had her on the boat with us. And then I've also had charter guests be allowed to bring their dog on a boat. Um, just depending on the owner of the yard, if they're chartering it out, sometimes they don't allow uh, people yeah. to bring their dogs. But um, in the cases that I've kind of worked in these situations, they've actually been allowed to bring the dogs on board, which is always lots of fun for the crew because the, the crew always miss uh, their pets and dogs. So it's always exciting having the dog on board. But obviously there's a lot of different things like protocols we have to abide by and have ready for the dogs when they come on board. So because you're at sea, like most of the time, you know, there's right. um, a lot of times that you're actually cruising um, it's a different environment for the dog if they're not used to being on a boat. Um, but the boats that I work on and the, the ones that people pretty much charter are like floating hotels. So, you know, it's no different than being in a home, which is which is kind of good for the dog to like adapt to the environment. Yeah, no, no doubt. That, that, that must be so fun. And uh, speaking of protocols, is there anything that you guys do specifically when a dog comes on one of these mega yachts? Do they have little doggy life jackets or, or what, what, what happens there? Run us through it, a charter guest or an owner coming on a, on a boat with a dog. Right, so um, it's like you just named it. It's pretty much like number one thing for safety is a huge thing, um, working on boats just for people in general. But when we have, we don't treat dogs um, any different to like a human life on board which I think is, is really cool and like really important so I always make sure we have a life jacket for the dog um, which is kind of funny I was introduced to that about five years ago like shopping for a dog's life jacket yeah. um, a lot of the time the the charter guests that bring their dogs on board will actually bring their own um, their own life jackets just because they've got them around. Um, I've had a pug on board that has had his own little life jacket and even That's goes on the skis. So like they treat it just like human beings, like a guest. Um, you know, uh, we have to make sure that the, the dogs, a lot of the time dogs are trained that they won't just go to the toilet anywhere. But sometimes we put down these little potty pads that you can buy um, or the fake grass. But I did work for some people who had, um, like I said, the German Shepherd, where it was trained so well, it would like not ever go to the toilet on the boat. So we always had to dock somewhere or run it in on the tender just so that they could take it for a walk to go to the toilet. So Talk about it, luxury. It completely right. depends. <laughs> wow. Have you ever had uh, a dog that is trained to just pee off, off deck? No, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for the day <laughs> that we have a dog trained to do just that. That would be really fun. That would be something, right? Yeah, that was my question. We were we were curious as as our our, our people here at Potacom were like, where do they go toilet? I mean, they must have to. Yeah, but it makes sense, right? The pee pads or the the fake grass. Right, and you you find it's like really it just depends on the dog, I guess, and their personality and how they've been trained, but like some dogs are like very happy to just like pee on the thousand dollar carpet that has just been installed. Some dogs are very happy to do that and go to the toilet anywhere in any of the guest cabins. Other dogs are like very well behaved and like won't do anything unless it's on a piece of like the fake grass, the turf. Um, but it's definitely interesting. And yeah, I, I would usually prepare obviously the life jacket and then the grass if, if they need like um, I'd always carry the, the accessories for dogs because you always want to be prepared for charter guests. Um, so I'd get like the leash and the collar and all of that um, just to have and maybe like a dog bed, which is, um, you know, for the comfort of the dogs in the cabin. So we always want to anticipate the guest needs, especially if we know that they've got their um, beloved pup coming on board. Yeah. Um, so it's important to just go through everything from safety to comfort of the dogs because like I said they're not treated any different than um, in the guests themselves and speaking of that like I've actually thrown a full-on birthday party for a dog on a charter. Um, really? I Cake think and I, everything? What's oh, that? Yeah. That's right. I think I do remember this was on the latest season, wasn't it? Um, well, that was that was on the latest season. We had the little dog scout on, um, but I've thrown a much bigger party on one of the boats that I've been on, other than other than what was shown on the season. And um, 
I full on outfitted the whole yacht for like specifically for this um this little dog's birthday and our chef made this like ginormous like three tiered cake um, oh like it went balls to the walls for this little dog. So, um, yeah, like I said, they, they treat it just like a primary charter gets on the boat a lot of the time. That's incredible. Well, you are the queen of theme, right? So I would expect, <laughs> I would expect no different. Right. Um, I bet you you've had some charter guests that behave worse than the actual dogs. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, speaking of, of, of chefs and dogs, so... These super yachts, I mean, like you said, they're, they're a hotel on water. They are outfitted with the best crew, uh, the best chefs. Do the chefs cook for the dog, like if you're on a charter? I mean, again, like it's, it's completely tailored to who's coming on the boat. But a lot of the time, like the primary charter guests will come on with like instructions of like dietary requirements for their dog and like, whether it's just cooking um, like raw chicken breasts and having that kept in the fridge. A lot of the time, like the stewardesses will then like have like the, the measurements of like dry dog food to uh, cook chicken breast ratio. And that like actually like falls into our duties. So we'll get the chefs to kind of cook up the, the chicken breasts or whatever they're eating. And then we will kind of put it all together in the bowls and make sure that the dogs eat at the right time. And yeah, we, we kind of take on that role. So it's like serving guests again for their lunch or dinner. The dogs yeah. get fed at the exact same time. That's awesome. Well, it, it really truly does align with what we believe here at Paw.com is that pets are family. You know, right. they're, they're just like one of us. And that's why we create products that uh, meet the needs of, of everything they need and also the pet parents so that they can live in unison um, together. And I'm sure, I mean, I've seen the show and, and, and you guys go through tons of laundry, right? So being able to wash products, I'm sure, is a, is a big, big factor. Definitely. So we, we might have to start getting some pot.com blankets and stuff on these super yachts. Honestly, I think that it would be perfect because I've like had like one of your dog beds before and, you know, they just wash so easily, dry so easily. And I think that's exactly, you know, it's very like time efficient mm -hmm. when you've got stuff that like can be washed and dried and put to use again for the little dogs. Um, so I definitely think it's a market you need to tap into, the super yachts, for sure. Yeah. You hear that, Marley? <laughs> If she can make it onto a boat, I'm sure she wouldn't mind being a super yacht model, right? Yeah. Right. I'd um, love to take Molly on a super yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs, we got some uh, questions from some of our viewers. Mm -hmm. And again, guys, we're giving away a $250 gift card. So send in a couple questions. We're going to choose a winner. So uh, Jeff, Jeff behind the scene is going to read out a couple. Yes, yeah, so quite a few people asked if people bring cats or any other pets besides dogs on the boats. Good question. Uh-oh, hold on. We're frozen for a second. We just lost her. Let's, let's try again. One second here. We're waiting for Bugs to come back. Has Marley ever been on a boat? So Marley's not been on a boat. Um, you know, it's bad because I even know this about myself. I am a helicopter parent. Like, <laughs> even outside in our yard, I won't just let her out unless I'm there. I just feel like I need to supervise and make sure she's okay, which is horrible, I know. But um, What about swimming? Is Marley a swimmer? So she's been in the pools and stuff. She's not much of a swimmer. She did... She did jump in a couple times, but um, that's about it. When we uh, bring her, I think we're going to have to get her a life jacket as well. Yeah. One of the other questions that they asked when we get Bugsy back is, Here we go. is whether dogs that are swimmers jump off, have dogs that she's been with, oh, jumped yeah. off the that's building. That's a good question. Bye. Oh, here we are. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No worries. No worries. Oh, and she left again. <laughs> This is like a drama. There's a bug in the bugs here. You're, you're still, you're still, okay. You're still alive. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. She keeps losing her signal. Okay, yeah. I'm back on. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No worries. I was just saying that's that's kind of the uh, 
the beauty of going live. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. So, um, Jeff, do you think you could just repeat that question? Yeah, so the first, the first question, uh, Bugsy, was if people bring cats or any other pets besides dogs with them on the boat. I've honestly never had a cat on board um, or anything else. Dogs are pretty much like predominantly the most popular pets to have on board. No I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting to have a cat, but yeah. <laughs> no ferrets or... or no, no. I, would love a, I would love a ferret too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a pet dolphin swimming alongside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be something. Speaking of swimming alongside, one of the other questions was... Do any of the swimming dogs ever jump off the boat into the water unexpectedly? Um, I've had a dog jump off unexpected, but like I said, like um, I've had dogs jet skiing. I've had them go down slides with their owners. I've had so many different crazy things go go on with dogs. Uh, and, and it's quite high, so for a dog to jump off, that's... I mean, it's pretty high, but a lot of them are, are pretty wise when they come on the boat. Um, and I think that, you know, people who bring their dogs on board are people who know that they can kind of, like, acclimatize to the environment. So um, I've never really had a dog freak out. They're all kind of very calm when they come on board. Um, and I think a lot of them also sometimes give their dogs sedatives just to calm them down, um, just so they can adapt. Yeah, makes sense. Um, another question is, uh, what was the craziest request you had for a dog on board? I think, it, I think it must have been the party that we threw for the dog. It was like a full-on theme party, the three-tier cake. Like, It was a crazy request because the whole day was centered around this dog. The dog even got a card, birthday presents. That's like, it was amazing. That's the kind of party I'd want to go to, to be honest. <laughs> exactly. Anything else, Jeff? Yes. Oh, there's lots of tons of questions. Um, are you or the crew required to clean up after the dogs, or, the, or are the owners responsible? Uh, that comes down to, like, a crew job again. Like, um, we have to look after the dog like it was a, was a guest. So, yeah, we, we do everything. That's funny. All right. We want to want to do one more? Okay. Um, when, uh, what is your favorite uh, breed of dog that you've been on board with? A uh, German Shepherd, for sure. How about Mr. Scout? I love Mr. Scout. He was super cute as well. But um, I think, like, we couldn't have him on the boat um, just because of the owner's request for the charter. So we, I didn't get to see as much of, of him as I would have liked, but um, such an adorable dog. Yeah. But, I'm, yeah, I, like, I, I love big dogs as well. So um, I actually love all dogs, so I can't really say. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's listening. Molly's listening to me there. Like, yeah, her <laughs> ears perk up when you're like, I like big dogs. She's like, yeah. what? <laughs> what about me? Yeah, exactly. Um, you want to do one more? Do one more. What, what was the largest amount of dogs you've had on board at one time? Probably two dogs. Two, two dogs, dogs is the most, yeah. Yeah, is there a limit? I mean, is there is there a point where you guys are like, okay, we can't do this? Or I are mean, you always trying to accommodate we try to accommodate, but actually that's a very interesting point. I, I think I should look into that and see if there's actually, because we usually have like a 12-person limit um, on, a, on a charter. So it would be really interesting to find out like if a, if a dog actually accounts for one of the 12 or, I've never really thought about that. So you got to look into the maritime law, right? Right. Maritime law is big. <laughs> Maybe call up Captain Sandy, see what she has to say. I should ask Captain Sandy for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, one last one. Given all the time you spent with dogs on board, do you have any tips for an anxious dog for their pet parent who's bringing their dog on, on board for the first time? I would definitely say, like, um, a veterinary clear sedative, like, you know, that would be provided by your vet, your local vet or whatever. Um, just something calming for them that you can either drop in the water or in their food. Um because I, I, I've, like, um, experienced that's helped dogs, like, a lot when they come on board, um, just the calming agent of that. And then just making sure that their water and their food is provided and, like, always in the same place because I feel a lot of dogs are very um, accustomed to, like, what's the word? Not, like, patterns, but, like, um, what's the word? Like, you know where the dogs always go, they know where to go. Yeah, they, yeah, I'm, just I'm something. Going to yeah, I, I understand what you mean. They, they want to just have like something routine. that they can um, 
like a routine. Sorry. A routine, so like, yeah. Like establishing a routine on board from day one of the dog stepping on, on the boat and keeping their food and their water like in the same place. I think it, you know, it helps them establish their surroundings and, and keep them a lot calmer than, you know, because you've got a lot of movement on the boat, a lot of crew, a lot of people, music. Um, so it can be very stressful for a dog. So I think just keeping them as calm as possible by establishing a routine is very important. Yeah, no, absolutely. That makes sense. Um, well, I think that that's a good amount of questions. We're going to choose our winner. Uh, we'll announce it after the show. And Bugs, thank you so much for coming on. I mean, we, we love seeing you on live. We love seeing you in person. Marley loves seeing you. Hopefully we can see you on another season of Blow right. Deck in the future. We'll wait and see, but we appreciate you being here right thank now. You. Thank you so much for having me. I see Molly's got really bored with all my answers. She's fallen asleep yeah. on me. <laughs> you know what? We're, we're working on her stage presence still. This is episode five, and I don't think she's made six. it through six. <laughs> I don't think she's made it through a, 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 an episode yet without falling asleep. I love it. Well, thank you so much for having me. What an honor. All right, Bugs. Well, take care. We'll chat soon. And thank, thank you to everybody who tuned in. Um, we'll see you guys next Friday. Enjoy your weekend and ciao from Marley's Corner. Bye-bye.